Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3. We'll start off from about to take on the Phase Spider Matriarch. Now, from prior experience, I know that they're gonna she's gonna go after the egg. So the question is, should I destroy the eggs? I'm gonna say in this instance, no. I want the XP. It's not gonna be much. I'm pretty sure they give a little bit of XP. May only be one, in which case it'll be like 20 XP. But whatever. I'm I'm gonna survive this fight. Knock on wood. But anyway, um, we want to start this fight. Now, if I remember right, she's going to go and hatch the eggs, which means I can do basically whatever I want. The main threats are going to be these two face fighters down here. Um, so I'm going to send my own... Everyone else this way, far enough, so that they will not get be part of the initiated combat. and can show up and join. But what I'm going to do specifically, firstly, is to make sure that Harlock is in range. Not with that one, because the path is interrupted, nor with that one, because the path is interrupted. I need to come... Maybe right here will work? Over here will definitely work, but I'd rather do with the fighting up here. But not if I'm not even able to hit once. All right, let's fall back. We'll do the fighting like back over here. Like my next move. Breathe deep. Might move. be better. Um, nice and quiet now. I missed some loot. Oh, that's where everything was. Can I grab this now? I was wondering, I looked for these and I didn't see it after. Alright. Basically, here is, here -ish is the area. Um, should be able to do it from all the way over here. Well, well. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, really? You shouldn't have tried me. Okay, well. Let's turn down the fire. Turn Avoid the simple the taxon. Alright, now the question is, is this too far? It looks pretty far. Nope! Do it! My little trick. Help, oh, please. Activated. Oh, really? Just because she was so far away? Alright, well... I have a solution for this. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Dum did um Good idea, Cock. Whoa! That insta started this fight. Oh, hells. <laughs> That's an easy enough kill. You guys aren't in the fight yet. Oh, so there's the matriarch. Knock her on her ass. What should I do with this? What should I do with this? Best play, best play, best play. Um. Need to keep focused. Shadow heart. I see 
see a way. And come over here to finish off this phase spider. I'm pretty confident in her ability to do four damage. Arya's outside normal range, because of course it is. <sighs> right from over here. Or, no, actually. Hold on. I don't want her to do this. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Target is too far, eh? Alright, well... Come on over here, then. I might have you have to dash back. My patience wanes. Lazel can come over here and try to get the shot off on him. Still outside of normal range, huh? Well... I have to double check, but I guess I'll go down. What's next, I wonder? Better tread carefully. Are you kidding me? Why did that do like no damage? Oh my god, did she really roll a one? Jeez Louise, girl. Out of sight. All right. Oh? Who wants to do it from there? Is that not out of range? It is out of range. I want a, a sure kill to screw it to it. Of course you miss. Of course you freaking miss. Don't want to think about why my eye is itching. Don't waste a step. Oh my gosh. Question, can you throw to reach? Because I don't want necessarily want a frenzy. No, you cannot. Target is too far. Not if she does this. That does drastically cut down the distance needed. Easy. This isn't what I really wanted, unfortunately, but I'll have to send everybody over to that side, I think. Go ahead and get a spiritual weapon out. And then I can't jump. Hopefully I won't get webbed. No, it's just double movement cost. The webbing is only the initial. Good. Nothing will stand in my way. Wait, was that all her movement? Focused. It was not. She still has movement. Never a dull moment. On my way. I am fury. I am death. Yeah, let's misty step. Can you attack the webbing?
Wait, why did that say 61 and 42? I'm confused. But it did 41 damage, so... Skele oh, the skeleton was crushed by for 42 damage. Got it. Well, that's a good win. That makes that fight way easier, but does that much damage on top of a web. I can't do any damage to it. That's hilarious. Oof. Oh, uh, because you're poisoned. Knees high. Well, right anyway. To do it. Nice. I saved from the venomous discharge there. Okay, I would like to big time heal. It's only poisoned for one more turn, though. Yeah, red means too big. Got it. will be my last fight for this rest so let's make sure she's got oh was that a max that was like one shy of a max heal right yeah beautiful now let's have Shadowheart actually run backwards going. limit the possibility of her getting hit let's go with haste Not enough movement. Oh, Carlac, why couldn't I have moved her? There's nowhere I can do it that won't hit her from this distance. dash, but I honestly don't want to get closer this turn. Yeah, I think I'll just end my turn here, unless I can throw... Yeah. Make sure she stays up. Yeah, okay. Now I want... He gets advantage when she's near enemies, so what I want... is there. Oh man. Yeah, I get it. It's just flat roll. It's not what I wanted, but oh well. Good hit, Axe and Surge. Blast rate. Bummer. 
Let's start whomping the little guys. Okay, let's normal throw. Got it. And then can I enrage throw that far? Yeah. Hopefully. Nice. guys are down there. Almost feels like a waste. Bazel is inspired. Oh, it's so close. I can get out of the web. Good hit. still has one clutch of eggs over here. I'm, how much XP do I get from these? Let's find out. Actually, I wasn't even paying attention. I'll do it with my character since... Oh, right. Because of my ability, I do passive damage when I get a kill. So I get one XP per. It's not really worth it. Let's just go for the finish. Handy. Beep. Level up, beautiful. Frenzy throw, because there's no reason not to. Not on the spiritual weapon. That took a while, jeez. So that was Dry Fight when you kill timer enemies and Pentacrush. So um I have full inspiration now. Yep. Alright, let's get my bounty. That won't draw any attention. Oh, well. Alright. Yeah, 
have that many things. Okay. <laughs> I didn't have to use a spell slot. This is kind of crazy. Wait, why is there still an enemy icon? Oh, he's just dazed and knocked out. Because it does no damage. Yeah, let's critically hit it, because... Overkill. Another step forward. Open up. Endless dark. Transfixing, isn't it? Who knows what's down there? Uh, the Underdark, I assume. After you. He's... At this rate, they're all just gonna die from... Everything. Wait, did I get? Hold the phone. Um. Uh, the key gem lost in the tunnels. We need to find it. Okay, so the key gem is just somewhere around here. It's not going to be any of the spiderlings. Ah, oh, there it is right there. They made sure it was totally obvious. Oh, don't do this to me. Is there anything else? I mean, there kind of is. This looks like a jumping platform almost, but... There's nothing I can do with these eggs either. Ah, da -da -da -da. All right, well, level five, um, I mean, yeah, that is everything here. Just the gem. All right, let's teleport out of here and go to camp. All right, let's do some leveling up. So for me, at level five, I'm finally getting not Pally two, but I'm finally getting Warlock level four. Gives me a cantrip. Out of all of these, yeah, I'm the I'll get friends. Um, as for a level two spell, I don't really need mirror image. Based on the way, I'd rather use darkness just to make it hard for me to hit. So, I guess whole person. Just as good against enemies, that's fine. I get the I get a free cast of darkness once per long rest, which is great. And I like, I like, I like, I don't really use Hellish Rebuke. So is there another spell I would rather have? Another whiz save. This is an int save. The type of damage dealt. Oh, that's interesting. Prevent targets from using reactions. All right. There is no spell I would rather have currently, but that's okay. I'll probably end up doing it later. So. Now Zen. I come to an interesting scenario. I think I just bump up my charisma by two. Yeah, I think I just bumped my charisma. I don't think there was a single... I mean, I could get Warcaster, but like already having disadvantage to hit me is probably good enough. Um, the only other thing I could do would be moderately armored. 
in which case I could set my dex to 15, bump that up to 16 with a respec. So, oh, it isn't moderately armored. It's medium armor master. So, it doesn't impose disadvantage to self checks the most armor class. You can't predict certain modifier becomes plus three instead of two. So this doesn't give a point, unfortunately. Um, so I wouldn't increase my stats. And given that I'm... This is tempting for the plus one AC. But I'd rather just get extra charisma. Makes my spells more likely to connect and everything, so... There's that. I got one more level in Warlock on the way. Move to Lazel. Lazel, we're actually going to skip you. We're going to go straight to Shadowheart, who will just level up as a cleric. So she at level 5 gains destroy undead, so instead of turning an undead, it can also just destroy them. Um, and then I get a bunch more spells. Mass healing word isn't terrible. And then I get call lightning. Oh my god, it's so broken for what I'm going to be doing. All right, so level three, less restoration isn't bad. I'm not going to have cure wounds. So bless, definitely use. Healing word, definitely use. Create destroy water, definitely going to use. Spiritual weapon, definitely going to use. Whole person, pretty much just definitely going to use that. The lesser restoration might be good in a pinch. Um, and as such, I think my best bet. Mass healing word up to six allies, no effect or undead on constructs. Um, I don't really think I'll need that based on my fighting style. All right, Beacon of Hope is an AOE, and they just max out heals. Revivify don't need because I have scrolls. Get that for free. Oh, Spirit Guardians, of course. We have to use Spirit Guardians. Um, and then... One more spell. Enhance abilities isn't really necessary. Um, second level, just straight up heal. I guess Guiding Bolt. I mean, I guess I could hold on to Cure. No, we'll, we'll do Mass Cure. That's just in case like I get multiple people down at once. All right, good enough. I'm not gonna do Lazel. Stop switching me to her. Harlek, your final level in Barbarian. Now I no longer double throw with you, unless I really have to. So you get the extra attack, you also get the additional movement while on there, you get the armor. And you also get the Legacy of Vernus Branding Smite. Oh, once per long rest. Oh, it prevents them from going invisible. That actually might be kind of useful. Now for you. You, my dear, are finally going to respect. Objective noted. We're going to see how effect. I mean, it's not going to be any less effective because our fighting style isn't going to change that must. as it should. Does thou require a new entry class? All right, so first class we're going to take is Cleric. Now, it doesn't actually have to be my first, based on the one I'm taking. So... What is their... their saving throw rules are what? I don't recall. So... Cleric is...
I think it's Wisdom and Charisma. I'm going to have to look this up. It sucks that it doesn't show them. Like, I want to know what the... I mean, does it show here, actually? Plus two. Okay, let's actually lower all my abilities down to... So, plus two from proficiency, it's Wisdom Charisma. So then Warlock is Charisma, also Wisdom Charisma. Okay. Clerics get more weapons, though. And then Wizard gets nothing, so there's no point in starting with them. Although they do get the potential for a cut. No, I don't want any intelligence, because she's going to remain in the intelligent one. Next, religion, insight, intimidation. Religion is intelligence based, insight is wisdom, athletics, and insight. Okay, yeah, that works. So we'll do first level cleric. And trips we're gonna pick. Blade Ward. Um, Thalmaturgy is unique. I don't think she's gonna be doing any performance. She doesn't need light. Resistance and guidance, why not? And she's going to be. Also, the Tempest Domain. Tempest Domain is actually pretty legit. The Deity! Um... Talos. Because... If this works. Terrible and powerful Talos! We, your unworthy servants, give praise! For only Aww. through your grace and benevolence may we truly reach enlightenment! Looks like you heard double of that. If that was a little funky, that's why. Um, okay, well, good to know. I'll have to fix that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I know exactly why. Let me fix that. Well, didn't quite fix it. But, oh well. So we'll go tell us. Also, the lightning works well. Ability score. So here's where it gets interesting. The important ones are going to be Strength, which we're going to bump up to 17. I'm going to keep Intel- I'm going to keep her for the moment, unless I get something really good, I'm going to keep her with the circlet, so I'm just going to keep my Intelligence at 8. Um, considering we're going to Mainline Wizard for her, this is actually not great. Uh, so we're going to dump Charisma. I don't want to dump Dexterity, but I especially don't want to dump on. So I think I'm going to give that the plus one bonus. I think getting 14 wisdom for the couple extra, because I'm only doing one level dip into cleric for the heavy armor. How many spells do I actually do that and that? Gives me with a point left over. I don't like that. Yeah, okay. Now, for the other ones, we don't want an intelligence-based check. Medicine and insight. Because uh, she's not going to be a talker, and her having the wisdom ones, she's going to have the intelligence checks available. Not that it's particularly useful, because you're not know, my main character, which kind of sucks, but anyway. So that's that. So that's her first level. So she has... Now... What we're going to do is prepare four spells. So what's useful for her? Shield of Faith. Don't actually need it because I got it for free with the sword that I'm going to keep on her. Oh, also, what am I talking about? We're not taking a second level on Cleric. Um, let me fix that. So, Healing Word, Bless, and then Create and Destroy Water. Those are the big important ones for this party. Multiclass, Warlock. Um, 
Eldritch Blast is kind of unnecessary. Uh, Minor Illusion. None of these are particularly good. Um, True Strike is not bad. Main Chant is kind of point. It's not kind of point. It's actually more than one, but we're not going to do that. So she already got Blade. So we're going to do this. And because these are going to be charisma based, pretty much everything is useless. Uh, as for the subclass. Is Armor of Agatha specific to the to the Fiend? Got to check that real quick. It says it's not. I'm going to go ahead and pop a quick save in case for some reason it is. All right, so Warlock, Cantrips. Nope, nope, yes. I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt to have this instead. And then I want the Great Old One because Lightning Critical Hit um, makes them be to save, I think. Like, the only other ones are... And I get... Yeah, it gives temporary hit points, which I don't care for with this build. So we want the Great Old One as well. We want Armor of Agathus, and just for the heck of it, Hellish Rebuke. Those are two pretty good ones for her. Except... Level 3, we will be going down Warlock again. Get one more first level spell. I forgot they get Expedition Retreat. We'll take that... There. And then for her Eldritch Invocations, there is a very specific one we want. Which is Armor of the Shadows. You can cast Mage Armor on yourself at will without expending a spell slot. Yes, please. Also, we will take Devil's Sight because that will allow me, um, allow me to play nicely with my character in the shadows. And she also gets Githrak Jump, and we don't need to change anything. Those are both perfect. So, yeah. It's awesome. Accept it. And now we take our levels uh, from here on out in Wizard. Okay, as for cantrips. Um, the good old combo of Firebolt and Array of Frost. Um, I'm not going to be using that. We will be... Mm, be terrible. Yeah, we'll get Shocking Grass. Why not? Okay, as for spells. Here's the spells we want. Um, find familiar because it's just useful to have a familiar around. Um, also, you can't get them in a scroll. I definitely have Featherfall and Magic Missile scrolls. No Shield scrolls, though. No Long Strider scrolls. No Disguise Self scrolls. The other stuff I should have scrolls for. So then we'll take Sleep. I got chromatic scroll orbs. I have false life scrolls. I guess enhanced leap because I don't think there's any scrolls for that one either. And then we prepare spells. It's bugged out because I only have the ones. I only have eight intelligence technically. We can fix that later. And oh my! How did you know I'm going Abjuration for the Abjuration Ward? Two more spells. I can get all of these. Which is why I should go ahead and pick some. Tough. 
Natasha and color spray. And then, yeah, accept. Now I have my Arcane Ward, which is currently at level 2. Um, and as you see, I have four first level, two second level, and then two first level slots. So here's the... And wait, where did I get that Misty Step from? Oh, that's from her level 5. That's right. Pump this up. Her case, I'm going to move it up twice now. She's got a bunch of stuff she can do. The whole idea now is and now I, I will be taking a long like rest a even though meal. I don't even know what else to do now except for a couple other fights and I could do one more fight but now we'll take the long rest action. so many spell slots now actually ah eh, screw it we're gonna do one more fight oh I have enough well now we won't so what she'll do is she gets an arcane ward that's equal to um Blocks damage equal to his charges and loses one charge. That's worded really weirdly, but anyway, the whole idea is that because it does it based on abjuration scrolls, what we want is here. Um, and they have this fixed, which is awesome. So with our highest level spell spell, we cast armor of Agathus. And is Armor of Agathus also Abjur- Oh, it is also Abjuration. Good to know. Oh, did they... It says four turns, but it doesn't actually go down. There's no timer. It's four- Not four turns, it's four charges. It just displays incorrectly. And then... Let me get... Um... Oh, because I have armor equipped. That's right. So she needs to take off her armor for the moment. And then cast Mage Armor. Um, now, I only have four charges. So it kind of sucks at low level, but the maximum I can get is four charges. But the idea is that... Um, I will set it up in the next... After this long rest. But the idea is that I'm going to have... This Cleric, who is now also level five, is going to be casting um, a Resistance. The one that gains Resistance and Armor class to her. And once she reaches level 4 in Wizard, she'll be taking Heavy Armor Master, which will bump her strength up to 18, as well as reduce all incoming damage by, or normal damage by 3. So she'll take half damage, and then that'll be reduced to 3. And then, yeah, so basically the idea is get him wet with, and then run around and make him hit you and take no little to no damage and do a bunch of damage back to them. It's really weak at low levels. Considering how small my arcane ward is, so it's probably going to be closer like level 8 is where it's really going to shine, but I want to see how well it do early levels. And in the meantime, you know, it's going great otherwise. Alright, so, I'm going to cut this video off here and do a bit more maintenance. Then, we'll pick up where we leave off. Thank you very much for watching, and God bless.